Hey, creative friends. Well, I'm not sure if this is going to work or not, but I will let you know when I'm finished. I am going to try to engrave on this Dollar Tree mug. Um, I have started it just a little bit already. Uh, I keep bumping up the time and the power to try to at least make a mark in this mug, and I think it is now making a mark. I'll let you know when all this is finished. But uh, uh, I did have to raise the whole laser bed and uh, don't judge me, I am using uh, cat food cans. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not quite a cra cat, crazy cat lady yet, but getting there. But anyway, we do have two cute cats. Um, and so I'm using cat food cans. Uh, I took two on each of the four um, legs. And so what I'm hoping is it will at least etch into where some of the white will show and then um, I may try to go in with a like a black marker or something to make the image uh, stand out better. But anyway, I will continue and then let you know if this is going to work or not. Thanks. Well, it's working pretty well. I will include a screenshot for the settings that I ended up on that I, um, I adjusted it as it went. And I need to come back and restart it so that I can get that top um that top part of the wing well of the dragon and um again this is a sloped mug so it's it's not perfect but it almost uh anyway it, that's about what i had expected so i will uh clean this up and maybe fill it in with black um sharpie and then we'll see what happens so this turned out pretty well I um, have done one layer of a Sharpie marker. Well, I first started with this one that comes in our um, kits, in our box. It's just a dry erase marker. Um, and I tried putting it in the grooves, and it all wiped off. So then I just went with a regular Sharpie marker. And I went all the way, all the way over it, you know, outside the lines and everything. And then came back with a paper towel with some... Um, fingernail polish remover to take off um, the edges, the outside of it. And then thankfully, uh, some of the Sharpie marker did stay in the groove. As you can see, my Slay the Day, um, it did not pick up the S and the L. I was hoping that it would be deep enough to get some color in there, but it really, it really isn't that visible. Um, it doesn't look as good as the rest of the letters. Um, and so I'm quite pleased with this. I think I'm going to do one more layer of Sharpie and then I will put it through the dishwasher and let you know how that goes to see if the Sharpie will stay on. But all in all, I'm really excited. We can actually engrave on just a regular Dollar Tree mug. So pretty cool. So just to show you, this was my second layer of just taking the Sharpie all the way over the design and um, you know, the, the Sharpie will not come off. So we'll have to use the nail polish. And so as you do the nail polish remover, just do your best not to get it into the groove, just go over the surface um, without, as best you can without digging into the engraving too much. And as you come back to clean this up, it will still have some little dots all the way around the edge where you just have to take your rag and um, scrub on those a little bit harder. Probably didn't need two coats on the Sharpie, but I'm just trying that to hopefully uh, get it a little bit darker. All right, so I cleaned it up. And then honestly, I came back in here and um, went over a few more of these little spots uh, with Sharpie again and just left them there. Uh, inside the actual engraving and then I went over these letters I know that doesn't look very good um, but I'm gonna leave that just like it is just to see if it will survive uh, the dishwasher so I'm gonna let this sit for a day and then uh, run it through the top rack on just our regular uh, dishwasher setting so we'll see how that goes <laughs> 